The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'd like to show off my new camera. That's right, finally got a new camera, and uh, I'm still figuring it out, but I get to wirelessly start my videos now. Anyways, I'm happy about that. Uh, thank you to all my patron uh, supporters who help me help pay for it. So, all right. So today, a new homebrew is coming out. It's active on Kickstarter. It's called Twin Dragons. And Twin Dragons is a cute platformer. It is successfully being funded on Kickstarter. So it's going to be moving forward. They still have some stretch goals to uh, achieve. But today I wanted to showcase some gameplay. Uh, the company, uh, Broke Studio, that did send me an early build of it. And they're still working on levels. And it's not the final, but I wanted to showcase uh, some of the gameplay. I'm super excited. This is a great platformer. It's family friendly. It's cute. Um, so, you know, definitely you're going to uh, possibly get a cavity play in it because it's pretty sweet. And so I wanted to showcase it on my channel. I'm super excited. I love the homebrew community. No matter what game platform, I'm, I'm a big supporter of these small companies making these wonderful products for, for vintage consoles. And so this is great. Um, for people that are interested in checking out a demo, um, linked below will be a link to the Kickstarter that has a demo all the way at the bottom of the Kickstarter campaign. You can play a demo of this game. Also, say you don't have a Nintendo or don't plan on getting a Nintendo, you can still support uh, this Kickstarter and get a PC version. They are making a PC compatible version of the game. It's really cool. So let's check this out together. Great game. So here we go, Twin Dragons, a cute little platformer, and this is not the final build of the game. This was a version that they sent to me uh, for this for this overview. And on the title screen, there's uh, three options. There's new game. There's uh, you can choose Dinky or Minky as the main characters, or you can do the ju jukebox, which is pretty much different soundtracks of different stuff you can listen to some of the tracks again this is not the final version of the game this is just a like a early version pretty cool pretty neat that they put that in there <laughs> so all right so, and then obviously the most important would be the credits of who, uh, who coded the game, uh, music and sound effects, testers, very important. And so this is the Nest Dev Competition Edition. They did win, win a competition with this game. And it's solid. This is a solid, cute platformer. If you're a fan of like Kirby's Adventure or any type of side-schooling, you know, cute platformer this is this is a game for you so let's check it out all right you got i'll choose dinky and here we go some great animation from the main little dragon and you have a projectile you shoot out you shoot out a little fire you can't uh jump on the creatures and grab these peppers some various enemies and I don't think you can blow up the crates first thing I wanted to do when I played this I wanted to bolt the crates and so you can't I tried jumping on the creatures nope you gotta take them out with your your fire Anyways, cute graphics, awesome sound. It's got a great soundtrack. Ooh. Uh, looks like you can take a couple hits and then you're dead. Good. I punished one of my hearts. And that's it. Get through. Back to, to one, two. Let's see. This 
This level is longer. That was just kind of a nice introduction to show you the controls. Anyways, I uh, so think you collect these peppers. They're kind of like the coins of the game. Very colorful game. And you can climb up, climb down. Okay. So this part I got kind of stuck. I didn't know what to do. And you press uh, press down and a, and a button and an A, and uh, you can climb down, which is very important. Anyways, it's cute, and it's very you know the type of game. This is a type of game where you can just you know you know it's not it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's just a nice fun game you can play with your kids or you know play with your wife. It's a fun game, you know. Uh, I like games like this because uh, there isn't anything derogatory in it. You know, uh, I don't have to worry about the content of this game. Playing it with my with my children, which you know, and it's also that that that's the type of content I'm not going to show on my channel too. You know, this is a very a very family friendly game, and I, I really like that about it. On top of just being fun, you know, I want to see what the end of this level is. So I died once, and that's, you know, got some challenging spikes. All right. All right. Let's see if I can get, get to the end of this level. See here. Do it. Yeah, the Kickstarter is going to pretty much have all the information for what they plan to do. There is stretch goals. They have, uh, to this date, have uh, gotten one of their, uh, completed one of their stretch goals amounts. So this is going to be funded on Kickstarter. Uh, kind of your, tip, your typical um, homebrew game. Uh, you can get a, a full complete package. For a decent price, not too not too expensive. There is some deluxe uh, offers that they're offering on their Kickstarter, different packages of the game. Thought that was pretty neat. Oh, didn't make the jump. Womp womp. Pretty challenging. So, one thing about this game is, uh, you know, it's it starts off pretty easy, and uh, boy, those those jumps get can get you. So I'm gonna try to speed through here and see if I can. Let's see if I can make the make the jump this time. Oh, cool. Oh, oh didn't make it. Womp womp. You know, a good game is a game that you'll want to keep coming back. You want to keep playing. And I definitely want to do that with this. Come on, John. go up this time. Boy, at least one hard jump. The jumps are tough. Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to go up again. I like that there's branching paths. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. You can do that recently was playing that. I, I love that series. Alright. Oh! Totally died. Yes! I'm going to continue. I'm going to try one more time. One more series. Come on, i got to at least get to the end. Now it's just like... Have you ever played a game and you just... Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I died. I gotta get past that part. And then you, you think it's easy, and then, you know, an hour later, you're still at the same part of in the game, saying, oh, gotta get past this. Well, that's kind of where I'm at with this. All right.
want to fly or float. Can't do that. Kill that stupid hummingbird. bird. <sighs> What's up with birds and enemies? You know, uh, enemy birds and video games are always challenging. Oh, I was trying to slide over. Nope, doesn't work. All right, let's try this for the fourteenth time. All right. But the green peppers probably give you a extra life after a hundred. It's a pretty challenging jump up here. Gotta get past it though. It's always the simple things. It's never the, you know, there's not a time limit on this level, so just gotta. All right, yay, got past it. All right. Well, I'm gonna get that, need that. All right, here we go. Yay, got past, all right. One three, so kind of your typical world setup. Like a ooh, look at this boss. So you have to hit it. Okay. All right, now we got the boss. Know the pattern. So have to hit where the face is. Okay. Okay. All right, let's try that one more time. Come on. All right. Nope, it's not gonna work. Ah! All right. So, okay, shoots out. I have to avoid when he shoots. pattern though that's the pattern to get past this boss come on okay come on Not gonna be able to do it, I don't think. Won't, won't. Well, there you have it. That's as far as I can get, but shows you a good example, a cute little game. Well, that's it. What do you think? Is this something that you would like to play? Uh, comment below. Comment below what you thought. Thank you so much for people around the world taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos. Right now, I've been doing three videos a week. I've been doing a bonus video on Tuesdays, and I plan on doing a bonus video this week. I also do uh, typically every Thursdays and Sundays as well, I upload a video, and I'm really excited. I have some great content to showcase, and I'm just gonna keep on bouncing around my game room and pull out stuff that's interesting and upload it to my channel. So thank you so much. Uh, also, if you'd like to support me additionally on Patreon, uh, you can get an additional video every month 
uh, for as little as contributing one dollar a month. Thank you so much. I'm super excited about having a new camera. Um, it's going to help my videos out a little bit. It's nice not shooting with a potato anymore. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Take care.